Now, the other thing that's been on the headlines and uh, is back again, I don't know how we'll ever shake this off, but we've got the NYS saga, which is back on the headlines, of course, with uh, the... Um, What's it called? Affidavit, sworn by Juan <laughs> Kapura. And the figures keep moving, moving upwards up. and upwards until I was telling somebody the other day that nowadays in Kenya, we don't just talk millions, we talk billions. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, um, uh, the Nairobian has done a, a very, very a good uh, to um, a big uh, spread right here. Um, so that we can actually just know who Kafura is. And uh, <laughs> interestingly <laughs> enough, she was uh, Anwe Guru's uh, okay. hairstylist. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh. Sa Samia is back um, um, and up to when she became CS and people um, uh, have uh, described her as a very very witty person and uh, very keen to detail so I mean I, th I think that has been uh, covered very well in the, in in the, the Nairobian, Nairobian well. so we'll get to the Nairobian we'll to but the Nairobian. Um, I'm just hoping that you know this is something that we can shrug off over time uh, and deal with ourselves as a society, especially when it comes to corruption. Because, mm -hmm. okay, we could say this is just the NYS saga, but we have the judiciary, we've got our MPs. I don't know if any of you watched the proceedings of Parliament yesterday, mm -hmm. and when it just trickled down to literally right. a war of words and almost... Was, they, yeah. they were almost getting there. Yeah, they were almost they getting there. Like if, if it wasn't for the sergeant at arms that yeah. are in, you know, in parliament, yeah. I think those guys would have literally just fought it out. And I was even asking this morning why we even call, has the word honorable changed? When you look at the way... I, I think the something. political heat is too much and it's rubbing. And then there mm. are so many cases mm. that's going on right now. I mean, so many exposes on, uh, on corruption. Mm. And, you know, sometimes when, when you're there and people eat and you've not eaten... Probably. We need to eat. Uh, yeah, there's there's bound to be so much heat yeah. because uh, <laughs> there are those people who are... To eat. <laughs> In fact, there's, there's, there's somebody I remember saying, and this would be really sad, they were saying that uh, the only time Kenyans make noise is if you've not had the opportunity to, to also eat. Exactly. Yeah, put your hand exactly. in the Because I, I don't know, I, I think uh, sadly it almost looks like every time we are having... Because if you follow all the cases of corruption, it looks like every time someone jumps into office, the first thing is you fend for yourself, yeah, and your feed people. yourself, it's, it's and, and, and your people, mm. which is really sad uh, because we are even wondering, even the people who are fighting for, 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 for against that corruption, what would they do if they were in the same position? Mm. Yeah. You understand? So, uh, I mean, it's, I think it's almost a at a point in in a time when we should uh, really be praying for our country because absolutely we are talking about a lot of lost billions prayer yeah. i Pr don't think we need to get the prayer uh, and uh, and <laughs> our city is getting dirtier you I, understand? I, 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 think, I, I think we need action in yes, this yeah, country yeah. for me like the media would report all these things every day mm -hmm. and i keep on telling my friends mm -hmm. when they ask what have you guys done about it in the media mm -hmm. uh, it's already reported yes. mike is there in the morning talking yes. about all those things every day mm -hmm. but you as a kenyan you 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 still think or you behave like it's okay mm -hmm. you, you don't speak about it you don't do if something about go to the streets yeah. or whatever it would be mm -hmm. that kenyans would say we are not those people mm -hmm. we cannot let a bunch of few people politicians or whatever they would be mm -hmm. to make kenya look like this country which is so dirty in terms of corruption well the yeah. question would right. be really whether it's those politicians only or it's all of us because somebody say those politicians are a selection of who we are who it's we literally are. just a reflection but but but, but 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 look at it yeah. every time you meet uh, or you see someone uh, a politician meet uh, people Ooh. on the street what do they ask for? Kitukidogo. They ask something. for Kitukidogo yeah. every day. Yes, it's, it's, you know, actually, special, and, and in fact, if, if you are known to be a friend or politician, they know a, people will always be telling you, I see he's your friend, I know you. Connect to me. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's sad because that's the mentality. Mm. That uh, if he's a politician, then definitely I know you guys have. I mean, yeah, actually, it's, it's like we're already one, okaying it. Yeah, one senator, and he told me, you know, the pressure that everybody else we might put not them see, through yes. uh, is the pressure that the electorate puts them through because mm. when they go home yeah. basari i don't know my granddad city has what there's yeah. issues with land so there's so yeah. much pressure and sometimes to silence somebody you just yeah. tell them okay you know i can't do much about that but here's two thousand shillings yeah go buy bread so it almost becomes like a bribe so it's give and take yeah and, um, and you'll want yeah. that two thousand every every day oh yeah yeah you're and all, if it's not you, you it's somebody else and someone else will want it but i think in short what we're saying is that as a society as uh it, it needs to not 
not be part of our culture because mm -hmm. it's just becoming too much. Yes. You know, right now we've just started uh, the voters um, uh, registration. The registration is going on, and I think what young people need to do now, especially the ones who do not have. Um, you know, a, a voter's card, go and, you know, register and have a voice because we cannot talk about it and we cannot change it in the ballot. So you can be able to choose leaders that you want, right. but then if we have the leaders that we deserve, then that is our own issue now that because is it's going on now That's and right. it's, there's none of the things we can do. Like I agree with Stevens on the fact that we need to be angry enough to want to do something about the situation and that can only be done through the ballot or it can be done by people coming together and deciding that we are no longer going to be these people and we're longer going to accept this kind of thing absolutely yeah, yeah. well if the power of the vote is in your hands come august the 8th 2017 let's go to the ballot box and the leaders we choose are the leaders we deserve yeah. that's mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> even uganda 